This is the newly constructed part of what is to become a Red Rhino Secondary School in the recently created Lavushimanda district. Located in Lavushimanda National Park, they yet to become a learning facility only as two classrooms and two teachers' houses. Interestingly, the funders of the project have invited government to commission the school. And sadly, the Ministry of General Education has turned down the invitation, stating that the facility is far from completion and that it does not meet the standards of a learning facility. The buildings are good, but they are incomplete. When we look at the number of schools, we can't say we can open the school. We need to look at uh, the standards that are specified in our government as regards to construction of schools. Yes, it could have a lot of needs around this place, but we cannot hurriedly do it. We are far from completion. Meanwhile, the provincial and the district education authorities have backed the permanent secretary's decision. And we are happy too to have a partner like Red Rhino. We just want to request that they open up so that we share progressive ideas for the sake of the Zambian child. Minimum standards not are required for the structures need not be emphasized. Ours is simply to follow the directives as directed by the PS. And the Red Rhino Secondary School Project Coordinator, Frederick Mbulwe, has accepted his organization's inadequacies. We have known that, you know, it's a huge assignment to build a secondary school, but uh, we were almost uh, trying to take shortcuts. So I'm quite happy that the specialists are with us here and the, the donor community will actually uh, ensure that they address the, the, the issues raised. While it is important to applaud efforts such as this that are aimed at supplementing government's quest to take education closer to its citizens, it is also fundamental that such strides are in conformity with the set standards for the benefit of learners. Mark Fasson Mukuka, ZNBC News, Lavushmanda, Muchinga Province.